one more definition, a quite significant definition, is the indefinite integral. And the indefinite integral is closely tied to the concept of an antiderivative. A function has multiple antiderivatives. The set of all its antiderivatives is called the indefinite integral of the function. And it's written using this notation, this kind of stretched out S, and then whatever your variable is, in this case, f of x, we write to d that variable next to the function. So this is a, an infinite class of functions, even though we talk about the indefinite integral. Finding the indefinite integral and finding antiderivatives is essentially the same thing. To find this indefinite integral, we need to find any anti derivative. And then the indefinite integral is that antiderivative plus C, where this C has a name, it gets called the constant of integration. And C could be any real number. So f of x plus zero, is in the indefinite integral. So is f of x plus two or f of x minus one forty third or f of x plus pi or whatever. So we um, sort of saw this in our hot air balloon example. Like when we found the velocity, I said that this is n antiderivative, but maybe not the one we were looking for. And then I said, well, any other antiderivative has to look like this, plus a constant. Um. So, for example, the antiderivative or the indefinite integral, rather, of the secant squared. We pause and we think, do we know an antiderivative of the secant squared? Do we know a function that has the secant squared as its derivative? And we come up with the tangent. So we found n antiderivative. And then all we have to do is add that constant of integration to get the indefinite integral.